Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Released in the Philippines as the Adventure King or Adventurer from China, Dr. Y and the Scripture with No Words is a fun live action comic book adventure that blends elements of Indiana Jones and the secret life of Walter Mitty with popular Chinese character Wisely that was created by the prolific and late Ni Kuang. After a huge fire destroyed many sets, footage and the spirits of everyone involved, Dr. Y and the Scripture with No Words went through some rewrites going on to be released in two versions, one of which would be the Hong Kong cut that saw new footage of modern day scenes that has Jet Li playing a writer who is going through a divorce. Along with the help of his two assistants, he puts his frustrations into the story using those around him as characters in his adventure, eventually bringing some closure to his troubles. It bears some similarities to The Seventh Curse and Jackie Chan's The Myth to some degree, and works for the most part, albeit for a few plot holes along the way. The second is the export version, which eliminates any modern day scenes and focuses on the 1930s footage, providing a solid Indiana Jones theme adventure movie. Although they run for almost the same length, the international version delivers more unseen footage missing from the Hong Kong cut, including more action, melodrama and subplots, proving to be a stronger story overall to many who have seen them both. Filmed by Eastern Productions, the company set up by Jet Li and Corey Yoon Kwai, Dr. Y would still fall under Wins Entertainment, the second title that Jet would make for them after My Father is a Hero just prior to this, returning to make Hitman only a few years later. The film was directed by the legendary Tony Ching Su Tung, who had previously directed Jet Li in The Epic Swordsman 2, and again many years later in the underrated Sorcerer and the White Snake. Of course, Ching would also choreograph the star in the global box office smash Hero, alongside stars Donnie Yen, Tony Leung, and Maggie Chung, bringing the same crazed action to the adventures of Dr. Y that offers plenty of gravity-defying wirefu action, which sees Jet Li battle ninjas, sumo wrestlers, Japanese warriors, and a fellow adventurer who has been possessed by a demon, with both of them using flaming whip swords as weapons while they fight. If Jet Li and Rosamund Kwan's on-screen chemistry seem quite natural, it would, of course, be down to their time spent together playing the leading characters of Choi Hark's epic Once Upon a Time in China 1, 2 and 3, with the pair returning to the roles of Wong Fei Hung and An Ji soon after this with Once Upon a Time in China and America from director Samu Hung. In fact, their relationship on this production was so convincing that word reached Jet Li's wife, popular actress Nina Li Chi, who quickly arrived on set, threatening him with a divorce due to the rumours. As one of the villains of the piece and love interest, depending on which version you're watching I suppose, Kwon impresses as a sword and whip wielding Japanese boss, impressing in her action scenes and, as always, with her performance. Her character runs a torture chamber that sees her Japanese soldiers abusing and testing on their Chinese prisoners. It's a scene very similar to that in the eye-opening Men Behind the Sun movies, although definitely not as shocking, with the international version offering more scenes from this part of the movie. Interestingly, Rosamund would return for another wisely inspired story about six years later, this time alongside Andy Lau, in the Wong Jing and Andrew Lau sci-fi action flick, Wesley's Mysterious Files. Both are joined by a great supporting cast, including the gorgeous Takeshi Kaneshiro, who had worked with Ching Su Tung on his debut film, Heroic Trio 2, Executioners, and would go on to join forces with him later again in the epic House of Flying Daggers and the Warlords, once again alongside Jet Li. The lovely Charlie Yoon completes their trio of friends in her second film with Jet after the fun High Risk, although her third with Takeshi before starring together with him one last time in Downtown Torpedoes, with rumours that the pair have been dating for some time. While they both star as Jet's co-writers in the modern day scenes of the Hong Kong version, they do even better as his adventurous sidekicks in the other, getting in on the action and comedy, including one lengthy scene that sees Takeshi and Jet trying to pass as flirtatious ladies attending the ball. 
Once again, Jet Li goes up against some regular adversaries in the shape of the great Billy Chai and Colin Chai. Although he had been hard at work in the Hong Kong film industry for a number of years already, Billy really only got to face off against Jet in 1994 when he starred as the brutal general in Fist of Legend, quickly returning for a rematch in High Risk the following year. However, this would be their third and final role together, unlike his fellow Sammo Hung stunt team member Colin Choi, who had a bit of a healthier working relationship with the Wushu superstar, having first starred alongside Jet in The Amazing Kung Fu Cult Master, Bodyguard from Beijing, and the fantastic My Father is a Hero. The pair would later join forces again in the epic Ronnie Yu film, Fearless, with Choi later facing off against him and Jackie Chan in The Forbidden Kingdom, and later again with Jet in Badges of Fury. Interestingly, and regarding his big Hollywood role in the hugely successful Matrix movies, it is said that Colin only took on the role of Seraph after superstar Jet Li turned it down. While often unbelievable and very Wu Xiao in flavour, Dr. Y and the Scripture with No Words proves to be a highly enjoyable action comedy adventure, and although not perfect, is packed with some amazing action sequences, exciting fight choreography, great model work, hilarious comedy moments, including a runaway steam train pushing a man in a bathtub, and some wonderfully captured moments of cinematography, both from the studio and on location, including its highly memorable scenes on the legendary Great Wall of China. <laughs>